Good morning. We are on the couch with Sakina and Kai. Y'all, we have special guests today, Brother Yakatas. He is awesome. He is a brother of the Israelite congregation, and he brought his fellow Israelites to enlighten us today. They want to give us the knowledge and the understanding behind the Israelites. So listen, y'all. Y'all stay tuned because this is going to be an interesting show. Not only that, it's my birthday. Yay. Happy, happy, happy birthday to me. So stay tuned. All right. We are going to just dive right in. Brother Yagatas, I have to ask you one question. Was your name always Brother Yagatas? No, nah, my, um, you know, that was a, a Hebrew name. When you come into the knowledge of what we're dealing with right here, you convert back to a name. Somebody give you a name that is um, attached to your spirit and character. Okay. Right? Could you um, give us more enlightenment? And, and, and Yaquataz is basically, uh, it means awakened. My name in Hebrew is Shah Yaquataz. It means awakened prince. Okay. Right? Yaquataz means awakened. Shah is prince. Okay. So, so the concept of me being an awakened prince is me coming back to who I really was okay. or who I am, the knowledge of who I am. The Israelites, if you understand Israelite, the history of Israel is the Hebrew Israelites. Okay. Right? Mm -hmm. And Hebrew, the Hebrew Israelites, and not to go into it too much without, you know, a uh, question, the Hebrew Israelites, if you ever seen the movie Ten Commandments. Yes. Right. Yeah. You have the Israelites that was enslaved under the Egyptians. Right. Yeah. Now, the, the, the thing about us, we we us Israelites, we come to set the record straight, because when you look at that movie, you have the Egyptians. What was what color are the original Egyptians? What's, what, what is their skin color? Africans, I, I was going to say they're that. Africans, right? Yeah. So what's their original skin color? Dark skin. So when you look in the movie Ten Commandments, you have white Egyptians that's oppressing black, uh, white Hebrews. But Moses, which passed for the Egyptian, how is the Hebrews white when Moses passed for Egyptian, Pharaoh's grandson? So that is our job. When we find out who we are, our job is to come out here and teach who we originally was before we became slave, enslaved and our memory wiped out, us taken from our homeland. So that is what we clearing up. What would you say your English name is? My, well, you know, my, my name given to me by my parents is Martin Garces. Martin Garces. But I'm not English, so that's a Spanish name. Oh, oh. Mm. wow. You see what I'm saying? Oh. I got family from Panama, Barbados. Oh, so wow. when you look past before my generation, my family speaks Spanish, but speak with a, ja a Jamaican patois or accent. Wow. So it's a lot of confusion going on there. And now that you are enlightened, are you bringing understanding to your family of who they are and their ancestral background? Well, you know, how I bring it to my family you know, the, 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 um, let me get, can I, can I get, cause what we do, we prove it out of the books. Oh, can right. I pull something from out of, cause we, this is how we're going to be able to prove. Okay. All okay. right. Is that what you did when you converted over to your family? Because you had to give them understanding of the new person, especially if you're changing your name, they probably didn't understand. So you went to the book and gave them understanding? No. Um, and the reason why I didn't do that, give me Matthew 10, 34. I'm going to show you why I didn't do that. Okay. Okay. And I'm going to show you, you know, this, what, this Israelite thing where people don't understand who the world ignorantly called Jesus Christ was an Israelite. 
He's an Israelite. Yes, he the is. Jews are Israelites, oh. right? Yeah. So who are the Israelites today? Is the so-called blacks, the so-called Hispanics, so-called Native Americans, Seminole Indians, the brothers and sisters scattered throughout the four corners of the earth through the slave trade and the dispersion, who names was changed through slavery, who don't know who their homeland is. Only thing they have is the names from their conquistadors or their conquerors or their slave masters, mm. right? Mm -hmm. And we the ones still keep talking about Africa. Africa is a very big continent. It's many different tribes. It's many different nationalities in yeah. that continent of Africa. Everybody is not a so-called indigenous African. Wow. That's why the Africans enslaved the Hebrews back in the day, because they wasn't the same people. So this is the biggest story never really told of who these ancient people are. So when you see the Israelites on the corner, of course we pissed off because out of four or 500 years of slavery, now we find an out, hold up. Our history book is sitting right in front of us the whole time. And is the history book the Bible? The history book of the Israelites is the Bible. But when you, re when you read it, it's for us, but you might see white pictures in it. That's the, that's the deterrence, right? So give me Matthew, give me John 8.32 out real quick. And this is our mission. Give me John 8.32, give me Matthew 10.34. Go ahead, uh, let me show you what our mission is. Yeah, yeah, hold that. The book of John, chapter 8, verse 32. Uh huh. And ye shall know the truth. And ye shall do what? Ye shall know the truth. Uh huh. And the truth shall make you free. So, we as a people, we're not free. You know why we're not free? Because we don't know the truth. And this is who the world ignorantly called Jesus Christ, whose name was Hamashiach Yahawashai. Because he was a Hebrew, he had a Hebrew name. Right? So, he said, Ye shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. The truth is who you are. What's your history? What's your original heritage? Right? What we are today is we are created dark skinned white people. They brought us here, wiped our memory out, wiped any trace of who we was out, and then they implanted what they wanted us to be in our brain. They they beat they beat our culture out of us. They stopped us from reading and writing. If you was caught reading, they would either cut your tongue out. If you was caught reading the Bible, they would kill you. Why would they kill you? Because you're reading the Bible. Right? right? So, so these are the things, things when they say the Israelites right? teach hate. You, you got, got brothers that went through the, the, the drug, drug trade, trade, killing each other, uh, uh, the, uh, the crime, the, 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 the dissension in the family, the, 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 the fathers not being in the home, locked up, getting killed, the, the, the adversity with our women and men. It's, it's all, all from, from slavery. slavery. It's, it's all because we don't know what the truth is. Right? right? I want to look at it. Um, I, I always say, say that we've been traumatized. traumatized. Um, and, and, that's and that's just, just the way we've been brought, brought up. up. We've been brought, brought up and, and we become traumatized, traumatized in our household. household. Things, things that we've seen, seen all on the outside. outside. It's things you got to follow also. You know, it's just like even you saying you're a child of God. That's true, but how, where do you get that from? I know you are, but you have to prove to me that you are a child of God. Who is, who are the children of God? The children of God are the ones who hear who are obedient, who can hearken the voice, not just read the Bible and, you know, be guided by the Bible, but have an ear to hear him and be obedient. Those are the ones he calls his children. Hold that. Give me Exodus 4.22. Hold up. Okay. I'm going to show you who the children of God are. It's only one race of people on this earth that is a child of God. So the children of God don't come out of every race on earth, mm -hmm. right? You can't name every race on earth that's oppressed, mm -hmm. that's, 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 that's locked up, that's been in slavery for four or 500 years, don't know who they are, and dominate everything. That's a very spiritual thing. And a lot of us don't sit there and pay attention to that. But everybody say we criminals, we niggas, we did. 
the book of Exodus, chapter 4, and verse 22. Yeah. Now, this is a part of what you see in the Ten Commandments, but this is really, this is re really happening in history, right? Give me that. And thou shalt say unto Pharaoh. So this is God sending Moses back into Pharaoh's house when he escaped. Mm -hmm. Now, Pharaoh is an Egyptian. Moses is a Hebrew from the tribe of Levi. Mm -hmm. So when you hear tribe, that's a nationality, right? Mm -hmm. Not a religion. It's a nationality. Read that. Thus saith the Lord. Thus saith the Lord. Uh -huh. Israel is my son. Ooh. Israel is my son. Uh -huh. Even my firstborn. So, so God told Moses to go tell the Pharaoh, the Israelites is my son. That's my chosen nation. Even my, my firstborn means chosen nation. Go ahead. Verse 23. And I said unto thee, mm -hmm. let my son go. So why he tell the Africans to let the Hebrews go and call the Hebrews his son and his chosen nation? So that means the, the Israelites are God's chosen people. When you go into the Bible and you look at who God loves, who God sent, who the world ignorantly called Christ for, Christ didn't come to send, come for everybody. He didn't come to die for everybody. He's an Israelite. His people has been in slavery throughout history. So who's the ones that need saving? His people. White man don't need saving from the white man. East Indian don't need saving from the East Indians. Africans don't need saving from the Africans. You know why? Because when you look in our neighborhoods, we can't even set up a vending stand on the corner, but everybody got businesses in our neighborhood. That's true. So who, how is everybody equal? How does God love everybody? Right? So these are the things that make us mad because a lot of time when you go into church, church will play with your feelings. You come out, you say, Dad, Pastor had a good sermon today. You say, well, what you learned? I don't know, but I feel good. Give me First Peter, Second Peter 1 and 20 real quick. Let me show you something about the Bible. Okay. Give me Matthew 10, 34. And I'm going to show you why I didn't open the book. Okay. I didn't open the book for my family. A lot of us, we know what type of people our family are. We know if our family going to listen or not. So you know what I do? We get in my neighborhood on the corner. All my uncles, aunts, cousins, and all of them, they don't have no excuse to hear their history. So we get in front of the liquor store. I get in my hood. So everybody I know, that's why everybody know what I do. Because I come right in my neighborhood with my brothers, and we cry aloud right on the corner. Yeah. See many videos of it, right? Yeah. Right. Yeah. The book of Second Peter, chapter 1. Verse now, what you were saying, the Bible is like an inspiration book, or what you say again? It's just the, I, I feel like it's a way of life if you apply it with the true feeling of your faith. So your, it, when God says faith without works are dead, and uh, so you have to apply your, your faith to that word in order for it to come alive. That give me Psalms 73. Give me that. Book of Second Peter, chapter one and verse twenty. Right. Knowing this first. Gotta know this first about the Bible, right? That no prophecy uh -huh. of the Scripture uh -huh. is of any private interpretation. So you can't take the Bible and just apply it to whatever you want to. You have to look at the Bible and what it's for. It's a. It's what it, the Bible is a history. It's the Constitution. It's the Law, Statutes, and Commandments of God and the Israelites. When you read the other nations, it's showing the roles of the other nations around the Israelites during their history. So we, the scripture is not of a private interpretation. That's the, that's the disservices the past has been doing. They've been telling you, well, you can read the scripture and apply it to your personal situation. The faith without works thing is you have to have faith in, faith in the Messiah and you have to do the commandments of the Most High. So the works are the commandments. But pastor will tell you the laws is done away with. So this is what get us in a lot of problems. So if the law done away with, I can molest your, your baby girl or your son. I can murder your brother. I can sleep with your mother. If the law is done away with, ain't all of that open? If the laws of God done away with, are we open to do whatever we feel like? No, because then that would be sin. So we're That's saying that sin is okay. Sin is not okay. What is sin? 
something that is uh, forbidden by God. I'm going to give you the definition, but give me that. Go ahead, give me that. 21. Mm -hmm. For the prophecy coming not in old times uh -huh. by the will of man. For the prophecy coming not in old time by what? The will of man. Uh huh. But holy men. But what? Of God. But holy men of God. Now, holy means separate or set separate. apart. Yeah. So, you, God, you can't be. God loves everybody. You can't be a child of God and be on the same level as everybody. No, but can't. separate men of God, what? Spake as they were moved by the Holy Ghost. So that's that's the, the scriptures. You have they you have to follow them verbatim. The laws, everything, but they apply only to you. They only apply to one people, the, right? The children. the children of Israel. So give me that. Give me matter of fact. Give me Exodus two and twenty six, real quick. Give me Matthew ten thirty four. This is why I don't. This is exactly why. Because family members would be the worst ones. The book of Exodus chapter 2 and verse 25. Right. And God looked upon the children of Israel. Nah, he looked on everybody. The children of Israel. Uh -huh. And God had respect unto them. Why pastors don't read this book? Why pastors don't read this to y'all? But no, God loves everybody. John 3.16. John 3.16 don't mean what you think it means either. And watch this about family members. This is the book of uh, Matthew, chapter 10, verse 34. Uh -huh. Think not that I am come to send peace on earth. Oh, no, this is not all loving Jesus. This is not all loving Jesus. Think not what? That I have come to send peace on earth. Uh -huh. I came not to send peace. Yeah, the Christ said he ain't come to send no peace. Go ahead. But, a sword. but what? A sword. What you do with a sword? You kill and go to war with it. Read. Read. For I am come to set a man at variance. At, uh, he come to set a man at opposition. Go ahead. Against his father. Against who? His father. Go ahead. And his daughter. Uh -huh. Against his mother. Uh -huh. And the daughter-in-law against her mother-in-law. Uh -huh. Verse 36. Mm -hmm. And a man's foes. And a what? A man's foes. And our enemies. Our main enemies, go ahead. Shall be they of his own household. They shall be of your family members. So Christ said, I came to separate the wicked ones from the righteous Just ones. ones. That's, what, That's that what that mean. So God don't love everybody. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And Christ didn't come for peace. So when you hear these things and you 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 go out here and you think love is just a mushy, feely thing. And you dealing with everybody that's that's dogging you and you deal with them with this face fake sense of love and you look up 2020 we still getting knees in our damn neck you got brothers getting hung still you got sisters like sandra bland getting killed uh brianna taylor getting gunned down in her bedroom that come from us being misguided and lied to and wanting to love our enemies because in this book god said we got enemies it's the enemies that just keep killing us. It's the enemies that keep redlining us out of our neighborhoods. It's the enemies that keep the drugs in our community. It's the enemies of the police that keep running up on us like we ain't nothing. So how do you distinguish the enemy? Um, do they have a face? Do they have a color? Do they have a religion? What is and who are the enemy? Give me Psalms 83 out real quick. Let, let this brother get it. Give, give me Psalm 73. Give, give me Psalms 83. Give me Psalm 73. Right. I got 73. Give me 73 and 1. Right, so the book of Psalms, chap chapter 73. You know why he's saying he he's only made a covenant with with the Israelites. Give me Amos three and one. Hold up, now you stay there. Ah, stay there. Give me Psalms eighty three. Stay there. Give me give me um give me that. Hmm. You said Amos. Amos three and one. Now see, this the stuff is what make us mad. This is why people say we crazy because we teach what's in the book. But 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 when when you're not teaching what's in the book, you all good. Now we're we're a hate group. We're a hate group because now we found out who we are. Right, and everything that you're quoting is from the Bible. Mm. 
Surely God is good to Israel. Right. Even to such as are of a clean heart. A clean heart is the ones who keep the commandments. Right? Give me what you got, Art. Psalms 83. Hold on. Give me Amos 3 and 1. Let me show you why God is good to Israel. Why he's, why he, why we also getting our butt whooped. And you say, well, Dag, if God good to us, why we went into slavery? We're going to see why. That's the thing I was saying. Like, they got us calling each other black. They got us calling each other African-American. Right? My brother Pan's black. Our skin color brown. Right? Yeah. Yeah. The white man not white. He red. Right. So why are we the only two people that that describe each, each other as skin color? The white and the black man, the East Indians, they dark skin. Everybody dark skin on the earth except the white man. And if you don't know, when you read the Bible, they are Esau or called the Edomites. That's what they've been hiding from you. You are we we are not Africans. We are Hebrews. We are the twin brothers of the so-called white man. Fraternal, twin fraternal twin brothers. They are our brothers over the African. That's the, the biggest story never told. We are fraternal twins. They can't, we're going to get to that. We're going to show you the documentation in the Bible. Today they are called the Edomites. We are the Israelites. They are Esau. We Jacob. That's the thing. Jacob's name was turned to Israel, right? Mm -hmm. So when you say Israelite, you talking about who your forefather is. See, this is not a religion. This goes back to the bloodline thing. Your forefather. Go ahead. Let me Amos 3 and 1 real quick. Um, so the book of Amos, chapter 3 and verse 1. Uh-huh. No, that's what I did. Here you 3 and verse 1. Mm -hmm. Hear this word mm -hmm. that the Lord have spoken against you, O children of Israel. It's just redundant about the Israelites. Why the Bible just keeps saying Israel, Israel, Israel. Hear the word that the Lord spoke against us, O children of Israel. Go ahead. Against the whole family. Against the entire nation. Go ahead. I brought up from the land of Egypt. Where did he bring us out of? The land of Egypt. So God brought us out of Egypt by the hand. God brought, Moses brought us out of Egypt by the hand of God. Uh, right. right? Go ahead. Saying. You only. You what? You only. You what? You only. Uh huh. Have I known? Uh huh. Of all the families of earth. So why God saying you Israelites the only ones that I know of all the rest of the nations of the earth? Because He made a covenant with the Israelites when Moses brought us out of Egypt into the wilderness. Who got the commandments? The Israelites. It was no other nation in the wilderness with us. When God made a covenant with us, we, we, he made a covenant with us, with us as a nation. Before that, we wasn't a nation. We come from the chosen line of Adam, right? Mm -hmm. So we always been stubborn. We always been stubborn. That's why we fail as a nation. That's why we fail as a people. We always been stubborn. We had our homeland and we got rebellious. The Most High gave us our homeland, the biggest gold reserve on earth. We was the richest people. We had to look at our skills on top of our skills. And we got pompous on the Most High. We got proud and thought we was doing something big, and we forgot who gave that to us. So read that. Read that again. Hold on. Nuh-uh. Read that again. The book of Amos, chapter 3 and verse 1. Uh -huh. Hear this word. That I, the Lord, have spoken against you, uh -huh. the children of Israel. Oh, he, this is the word that the Most High spoke against us, children of Israel. Go ahead. Against the whole family, uh -huh. which I brought up from the land of Egypt. So this is going to explain to you why we keep getting whooped down, and we we trying to figure out why ain't nobody else going through what we going through. Why are we going through this? Because we were we were hard headed. We was a hard headed nation. Watch. Same. You only have I known mm -hmm. of all the families of the earth. Mm -hmm. Therefore, I will punish you for all of your iniquities. So God say you the only ones I know or care about. So I the one made a covenant with you. So I'm going I'm to punish you for your sins. Nobody else can be a sinner. And this is the definition of sin. The definition. Mm -hmm. Pastor's supposed to go in here and give you the sense of what this book really means. Read. Whosoever committeth sin. Now, this is the definition of sin. Whosoever commits sin, right? Go ahead. 
transgressive also the law. So if you break God's laws, that what sin is. Go ahead. For sin mm -hmm. is the transgression of the law. For sin is the breaking of God's laws. So I ask you again, who was the laws of God given to? Everyone. So how can sin apply to everybody? Y'all just wicked. You heathens, you Gentiles. We not the Gentiles. We are not the Gentiles. You ever see how, I, I bet you your brother right there got a mean walk game. Don't no white boy walk like your brother. You, you see how we swagged out, how smooth we are? Why you think they got a movie called White Man Can't Jump? And I'm not going in on the white people. I'm trying to, I'm trying to get the juices formulating in y'all brain. Name the corny NBA owner that's dunking basketballs and making them billions of dollars for themselves. They eating off of us. They have to eat off of us. If we, wasn't, if we would roll out on them, right, why do you think they won't let us go or give us the information? Because they'll, they'll die if we roll out. This is all the most I told us to do. He didn't, told us, he didn't tell us to go take up no arms on people. What you got up? What you got? Hold that. Give me Ezekiel 3, brother. And I'm going to show you what he told us to do. Okay. Give me Ezekiel 9. Ezekiel 9 and 4. Right. I'm going to show you what he told us to do. He didn't tell us to take up no arms, don't get violent. This is not about, um, like the most high said, vengeance is mine. He yeah. was talking to us. He wasn't talking to everybody. Who's being afflicted on the earth? Oh, yeah. He was talking to us. So we supposed to get ourselves back together. That's what we supposed to do. We supposed to get ourselves back in order. And then, and allow him to so listen, what you're seeing right now, like all of the, the whether y'all don't know it or not, this COVID-19, the shutdown, this all got something to do with Israel waking up. Really? Yes, it does. If you look at it, the mass system is going down. When you see Israel, Israel is all over the world now. We all on every street corner. They shutting down all our YouTube channels. Why is the white man so scared? Because the prophecies tell you that at the end times, the Israelites will be rising up and the Most High is going to come and stick a foot in all these other nations' ass who had us in slavery and who's oppressing us. This is our seventh time in slavery in history. Yes. Wow. Yes. Wow. So if you, think, if you think we built up America, we built up Egypt, we built the, the Great Wall of China, we built every place these people live. We built up Europe. The people in Europe is living in our castles right now. Them castles we built when we was living, when we was the kings of Europe in the dark ages. The lies that they say about our brother King James, like he was a, he was a white man and he was gay when King James had eight sons. You know what I'm saying? So it's just the things, the, the slander of us. So when you see us men and we've been in the street, we've been selling drugs, we done went to jail, we done did all of this and ain't no none of this now, we find this out and we square up. We say, hold up, we could have been, we could have, this. we ain't even had to go through all that if we would have knew, if we would have known who we was, but it was a process that the Most High took us through. It was a refining process and a punishment, Right? So that's why he said, therefore, I will punish you for all your iniquities, for you, which is your sins. Give me that. Uh, give me, give me, give me, give me, give me that. Verse one. Three. Three and three? Yeah. Okay, come. It's the book of Ezekiel, chapter three and verse three. Mm -hmm. And he said unto me, mm -hmm. son of man, mm -hmm. cause thy belly to eat mm -hmm. and fill thy bowels with this roll. So it's talking about the Bible, the scrolls and the knowledge, your history. Right? Go ahead. Fill thy bowels with this roll I give thee. Mm -hmm. Then did I eat. Mm -hmm. Then did I eat it. Mm -hmm. And it was in my mouth as honey. It was sweet. When I found out we was Israel, when we found out we God's chosen people, when we found out the kingdom is us ruling the earth, the other nations, when we found out God made this earth and this world for us, the other nations for our slaves, it was sweet in our mouth. After all of this slavery and oppression. Go ahead was in my mouth as honey for sweetness. Mm -hmm. And he, verse 4, and he said unto me, mm -hmm. son of man, mm -hmm. go, 
Get thee unto the house of Israel. Go get thee to who? The house of Israel. Now, we're supposed to teach this gospel to everybody. The house of Israel. Go ahead. And speak with my words. Nah, we, us Israelites, we just get out on the corner yelling. S nigga shit. Excuse speak. Me. Speak with my words. So every time we refer or we answer or we say something, we go right to the book. So the most I said, speak with my words. Go ahead. Unto them. Mm -hmm. Verse five. For thou art not sent to a people of a strange speech. Right. So we talk slang. We whatever. Y'all can understand what we saying because we go ahead. Or of a hard language. Uh huh. But to the house of Israel. But to our own people that understand what we talking about. Go ahead. Verse 6. The way we speak, y'all understand. We ain't, this is not complicated. Go ahead. Not too many of a strange speech. Slock it. And cut, plus a lot of people say y'all cursing. Y'all don't supposed to teach the word of God like that. When we sit there and we talk like we talk every day. I'm sitting here telling you this and that, and I might say shit. That's not a curse word according to the Bible. Amen. Cursing is telling you when you walk out the door, I wish you could hit by a bus. The words that we use is cuss words curses and cusses is two different things that's true right so cuss words is made up and they don't have no meaning even when you look at the word shit it's really not defecation it's just the word shit so i'm just i'm just explaining like we 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 so consumed with a lot of nothings right and we running from things that's really not ungodly right and, and like, like I said, saying God loves everybody is profanity. Profane means against God. When God don't love everybody and you say God loves everybody, that's against God, right? Right. right. So give me that. Finish that. Not too many people of a strange speech right. or, I mean, and of a hard language, uh -huh. those words thou canst not understand, uh -huh. surely. Had I sent thee to them, uh -huh. they would have hearkened unto thee. So, so when we in the neighborhood, when we go to our people, most of the time our people tell us we teach and hate. Most of the time our women don't like to see austere men like this taking their community back. So they also, the, the, the God is saying, if I would have sent you to them people of a strange language, a different speech, some strange people, the other nations, they would have listened to y'all. Because we telling y'all salvation is for y'all. The kingdom is coming. This is y'all. It's coming in for y'all. Y'all teach hate. God loves everybody. Uh-uh. The white man ain't the devil. We'll prove out of the Bible. Go ahead. Verse 7. Mm-hmm. But the house of Israel will not hearken what, unto thee. What do we don't do? Will not hearken unto thee. Uh -huh. For they will not hearken unto me. Mm -hmm. For all the house of Israel are imputed mm -hmm. and hard-hearted. They said we stupid and we hard-headed. That's what God said. God said they won't even listen to me, so they're not going to listen to you. So we know our people rebellious. We go out there and we get people, our own people, pulling guns on us while we teaching the word of God. You think we pack up and roll? Hell no. I get more, I get more scared for the people standing around that might get innocently, in, innocently shot or be a bystander. I get more scared for y'all, for a lunatic like that. But we get guns pulled out on us. We get uh, police harassing us. We get all that type of stuff just for teaching the Bible. But I thought everybody loved God and the Bible. You got everybody walking around with their Bibles like this. And you ask them, they don't know nothing about it. You know? Go ahead. Behold, I have made thy face strong against their face. So God said he made our faces stronger against the rebellious, our rebellious people face. That's why we don't be scared. They come up talking all of that. We go on them hard. We don't care nothing about no guns. We don't care nothing about no stre that street, that street stuff. God. We out of that street stuff. So you can't scare us with that. We fear the most high. We done everything been done to us. And when you come to us with guns and violence, you a weak nigga anyway. Go, go to the white man that putting his knee on your brother neck. You niggas videotape when y'all, white man sitting there lynching your, your brother. Nigga, I'll take a bullet. I dare I sit there with a camera while my brother tongue hanging out his mouth. He pissing on himself, calling for his mother. And I know this goddamn devil is killing my brother with a smirk on his face. Yeah. That devil going to die right there. Right there. But you know what? You got niggas come up to us at camp 
pulling out guns. Y'all suck ass niggas. I be back. I'm going to kill you niggas. Mm. You... And all y'all doing is trying to save a nation. But now peep this. You, you know somewhat of my background. Who gives a hell about that? I know you don't. That's why God that's, told That's me. what's so funny about it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's like, damn, if I was in this different space, this would be ugly right here. But it's like, damn, brother, I love you. Go ahead with that shit. You know what I'm saying? Just hear the word of the Lord. This is your yeah, salvation. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? That's what Yahweh should say. He that endureth to the end, the same shall be saved. Right? And you have to have a, 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 a serious love for your people to do this job. The book of Leviticus chapter 19 and verse 1. Right. The Lord spake unto Moses, uh -huh. saying, mm -hmm. Speak unto all the congregation of the children of Israel. Here it go again. Here it go again. The Israelites. So you got to know by now this is, the, it might have Bible on the front, but this is the Israelites book. That's what confusing to everybody. That's why I said we grew up with our history book on a coffee table. Grandma, you got, but you got Bibles all over the house collecting dust because we don't know that's our history book. We, we, they gave us the white Jesus. They gave us the white Moses, the white God, the little white naked babies and all of that. What white man got swag? You telling me that God made the people in his image and his likeness, but the corny white man is God. That's some crazy garbage. Go ahead. The white man can't even got a damn good two-step with himself. You feel what I'm saying? He's so close. And, and that ain't, that ain't, I mean, even, even when you look at the other nations, they don't have, they corny. And then this ain't, there's no such thing as mix. So if any of y'all don't get offended, I got a white grandmother. My white grandmother, the one who taught me that the white man was the devil. Yeah. Yeah. And she taught me that when I was three years old. I'm 46 right now. Wow. Go ahead, all right. Read that over again. Yeah. And speak unto all the congregation of the children of, of Israel. Go ahead, jump. Go ahead. And say unto them, uh -huh. thou shalt be holy. You shall be what? Holy. We should be separate or set apart. Go ahead. For I, the Lord, your God, am holy. So if, if our God is holy, we supposed to be set apart just like our God is. Go down to 1917. Verse 17. Mm -hmm. Thou shalt not hate thy brother. Thou shalt what? Not hate thy brother. What did he say to the Israelites? Thou shalt not hate thy brother. This wasn't addressed to everybody. So when they say we shouldn't hate our brother, the white man, the East Indian, the African, this is not addressed to them. Thou shalt not what? Hate thy brother in thy heart. Uh huh. Thou shalt in any wise rebuke thy neighbor. So if I see you doing some, something wrong, I suppose to correct you or judge you. Mm. Yeah, I guess. And thou shalt in any wise what? Rebuke thy neighbor. Uh-huh. And not suffer sin upon him. So I don't suppose to allow you to go off and ruin your life. I suppose to love. Go ahead. Thou shalt not avenge nor bear any grudge. We should not do what? Avenge nor bear any grudge uh -huh. against the children of thy people. No, everybody. Against the children of thy people. No, we don't supposed to get revenge or hold a grudge against everybody. The children of thy people. So when they say we teach hate, when we say the white man the devil, we say we hate the white man. We say God hate the white man. We don't like Africans. We don't like East Indians. We don't like Chinese because everybody oppressed us and we understand the history of all of y'all having us in slavery. That's who mostly had us in slavery in the, in the Caribbean, the East Indians, the dot heads. Who you think built the Great Wall of China? Them corny bastards ain't built that wall. The same niggas who built the pyramids in Egypt. Because the Egyptians didn't build them pyramids. It's always us. How a nigga, how's a nigga build a cotton gin and he's in slavery to stop picking cotton? Why the white man couldn't do that with his money if he's so smart? If he the slave master, we couldn't read or write. How the hell did we know the blueprints of building a machine from scratch for us to stop picking cotton? So who's the gods of the earth? We, we don't deal with common sense because there's so much witchcraft and lies 
thrown out to us even on the TV. Right? Read that. But thou shalt love thy neighbor. We should do what? Love thy neighbor uh -huh. as thyself. That's why I suppose to uh, correct you and judge you. I suppose to look at you and say, damn, she walking down the street. Hold up, sis. You know you wrong shit for that. You ain't supposed to be out here selling your body like that. What you need, sister? You see what I'm saying? You know you wrong as shit. Look how beautiful you are. You, you the daughter of the most high. Now you need to start keeping these commandments. What type of help you need from me? Oh, nigga, what? You, you, you ain't my mother or my brother. Why you all in my damn business? You judging me. No, because you my sister. That's and why I'm in you. Is, you me. is my business. Yes. You are my business. Yes. If you don't know, though, yes. you might not know that, but you are my business. The book of First Corinthians, chapter two and verse thirteen. This is our brother Paul. Everybody love Paul, right? Go ahead. But he that is spiritual. But he that is what? Spiritual. He that is spiritual. He that know God's laws and keep God's laws. Go ahead. Judge of all things. What do he do? Judge of all things. Because guess what? We keep the laws of the Most High. We know what to judge you on. Go ahead. Yet he himself mm -hmm. is judge of no man. So we ain't judged of man's man's philosophy. We judge by the same thing we judging you by. So if you can't come by the, the laws and judge us, that's what it means. We judge by no man. We don't allow nobody to come and critique us according to how they feel. You got to go to the law because we know the law. And it's not 10, it's 613. Okay, so with you going into the Israelite, you had to study yourself approved. Study to study, show thyself study, approved. Study, A study. workman need not a shame, but rightly dividing the word of truth. So that's what we've been doing, dividing the word of truth to yes, you. Go yes. ahead, go ahead. It's also People think we mad or we angry. We, we not playing. So he made our strong, against me stronger, right? Because we dealing with God's business. A lot of people come up dealing with their emotions. Right. So we on some God body time. Go ahead. And thy forehead strong against their forehead. So if people think they hard-headed, we more hard-headed. Because we know the truth. We hard-headed according we to the bull, truth. We, we, we got a strong foundation. Got strong it's path. not from ignorance. Right? right? Go ahead. Okay. Verse 9. As an adamant harder than flint, mm -hmm. have I made thy forehead. Fear them not. What? Fear them not. What? Neither be dismayed at their looks, okay. though they be a rebellious house. What? Rebellious house. Go ahead. Moreover, he said unto me, mm -hmm. son of man, mm -hmm. All my words that I shall spake unto thee, receive thy in thy heart, which is the Bible. Go ahead. and hear with thy ears, uh -huh. and go and get thee to them of the captivity. So when we tell the other nations this is not for you, they get pissed off. That's why everybody say we teach hate. Oh, it's a hate crime. Now we open the book, though. But but then awaken. You know that we are the chosen. Exactly. And God was speaking to the Israelites. If you look closely, God's still speaking to the Israelites, even the messed up ones. They don't know what the voice is, though. They can't even see that they the cream of the crop on the bottom. Yes. Well, other women look better than our women. The Israelite woman. 